All right. So now you ready to sell your house? Or you trying to get the um, house or apartment ready to move out so you can get your deposit back? Or you just want to repair the holes in your wall? And you just wanted to look decent. You did. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your wall prepared, prep your wall for paint. All right? And I'm going to show you so you can just stop having holes in your wall, just chilling in the house, just holes behind the door. This used to be. I'm going to help you out, man. All right? Stay tuned. What's happening? It's your boy Goose, You can call me Goose. So first, what you're going to need, all right? You're going to need some spackle or joint compound. All right, all purchase joint compound, okay? You can also purchase, purchase a fast set joint compound, okay? This is what you mix up. It's a powder. It, it's a powder, and you mix it up, and it dries faster than the both of these. So, um, so those will be your compounds you can use, okay? And then you're going to need... Uh, sheetrock tape, the netted type, I like the netted, um, spatulas, a six inch, one inch, or however big your hole is, you know, however big your hole is, okay. anyway, and then a trial, okay, to mix your mud in, alright, that's if you use the powder, alright, cool, so, those are the tools you're going to need and you're always going to need. Pull this out. I'll break it. A little blade. A knife. All right? Cool. Let's get started with the first hole. Here. This little man. Okay? Uh, oh, matter of fact, hold on. Let's pause for a minute. I use spackle on smaller size holes okay um why it's um uh, it's consistency is like um uh, a real thick it's just it's consistency is thicker okay so i use it on smaller holes i don't have to mud something and really spread it out that's why i use spackle okay Spackle can be used on larger holes, but I prefer joint compound for my larger holes. Alright? Cool. That's that's what I do. Okay. So spackle for smaller projects, uh, joint compound for the larger projects that you'll be doing or that I do. You did. Alright, cool. So this hole here, straight, simple regular nail hole, right? All right, so you take your spatula and just go over the hole, make sure everything's smooth. It's not catching anything, everything is fairly flat, right? So you just get your spatula, open it up, pull your little bit out, and just press it in the hole. Okay. Hit it from all sides. Side up. Down. Make sure you feel the hole in. That's all. Alright. Cool. That hole is basically done, man. Goose! Is it that simple? Yeah. It's that simple. Alright, moving on. Just leave my spout below because we're going to use it again. Alright, so this hole, man, I'm going to keep saying hole. And I know, you know, some of y'all minds going to be wandering. So, uh, we're talking about these holes, okay? Alright. Just want to put that out there. All right, so this hole is the exact same as this one, but, well, it's not the exact same. This hole to that hole. The difference is 
the sheetrock tape, the sheetrock paper is sticking out, right? So when I go to do this, sheetrock tape is in my way, okay? So it's not gonna get as smooth. So what you wanna do in this situation is use the butt of your knife, or you can use, you can use really anything. You can use your screwdriver, uh, push everything into the inside. You don't want anything protruding out, okay? So push everything to the inside. You can use the butt of your knife. Alright. I use this flat head on here so you can see. I'm just pushing everything to the inside. Alright. Just pushing everything on the inside. Now when I run my knife over it, it's smooth. Okay? So now it's just like that. One. All right, so just get you a little spackle. Push it in. All right. See, if I only come from this side, it leaves a hole right there. So you want to come from all angles. All right. Make sure you get it. And with, and with these type of holes, you don't have to put much on there. So after this dries, if it needs sanding, I can go ahead and sand and paint it. Um, it should only take one coat, All right? Cool. So, cool! Is it that easy? I told you before now, it's that easy. Moving on. All right, so let's get to this patch, okay? Some of you all are going to uh, get your TVs mounted, dismounted, or whatever, and those big bolt screws that they use, or those big bolts they use, when they pull it out, it's going to be, it's going to leave some damage, okay? So here, when you have the paper, um, sticking out like this you don't want to just grab it and pull it because this can tear all the way down the board right so then you're gonna have to patch that and um, just just add them adding on more work okay so what you want to do is take your blade put it at the base of it right and just cut it all right same here just cut it. Okay. Just cut it. All right. You still have the tape. Just, I mean, you still have the paper sticking out just like this hole. So what you want to do is the same thing. Take the butt of your knife, push it on the inside. Okay. Now, in this situation, the, the uh, damage is kind of, you know, you just can't push it in with the butt of your knife. So you take your blade and just run it along the edge, okay? Just run it along the edge. And it's going to get all of the little straggling pieces that you can't push on the inside. Right? And once you get that done, take your butt and the knife again. And lay it over. Smooth. Okay? So now you'll say, man, this whole this hole is kind of big just to put some putty in. Okay? which it is. So what you'll do, do some uh, some sheetrock tape, all right? So this is the netted tape here. So 
get at your hardware store. You just put it over the hole, see what you need. So I need it right here. Take your blade. Hey. Blade, all right, and now you're ready. Okay, you're ready to spackle. All right, so as you see, you have no backing behind this this mesh tape. So don't smash it in. All right, all you want to do, you want to firmly push it on, but you don't want to smash the tape in. Smash the putty side of the tape. Just firmly push it on. Alright. Ah, so now you get into a bigger patch. And this uh, putty knife is, you see how I have to keep, it's just too small right now. Alright, so let's move to the six inch because now I can go two, three swipes. And I'll be finished. Alright? So take your putty knife. Just back along. Alright? Firmly press. This is your first coat. Uh, you'll be here all day trying to make it smooth with your first coat. So just slap your first coat on, get it as smooth as you can. And then when you come back and sand, then, you know, uh, it'll be fine after that. So just get your first coat on, get it as smooth as you can. And uh, with the spackle, from what the canister says, uh, you might wait an hour and the spackle will be ready to sand. So that's good. An hour, you know, knock that out. All right, so we're going to let this dry. Now we're going to tend to this bad boy right here. Or bad girl, whichever one you want to say. Bad girl. All right, okay. So now we're going to use the joint compound, okay? So, <clears throat> but first you wanna do the same thing. You wanna clean your hole, make sure your hole clean, you know. You have to clean, you gotta clean the hole. Make sure your hole is clean. Uh, Push everything on the inside. This one is not as critical as those because with this hole, we're gonna use a patch, okay? Once your holes start getting to a certain size, you're not just going to use your, um, use your sheetrock tape and mud over the sheetrock tape or just use mud you're, you're gonna wanna have to, you wanna install something more sturdier, okay? So whether it's a patch or putting some type of backing behind the hole to hold the mud in place, um, that's what you're gonna have to do. Cause if you just install this uh, tape, it can be done, you can do it. Uh, you'll just be putting on more coats and sanding more than you should. But it can be done though, okay? Um, but yeah, if the hole gets bigger than this, I would just cut out, well, let's see. Let's see how big this patch is. So you got a patch, right? There you go. So your patch goes like that. Now these patches come in all different type of sizes. So, if the hole gets bigger than a patch you can buy, I recommend just cutting out, cutting out the hole in the square and putting some brand new sheetrock in. Uh, matter of fact, I have a video of that 
and I'll put the link in the description, all right? So you can watch that video. Cool, but anyway, back to this hole. So, hole in the wall, uh, decent size hole. You can't just put your mud over it. You can't just put your tape over it. So let's put a patch over it, okay? So, patch comes like this. Right, and put it over. So this patch is similar to the mesh tape, but it has this, it's like this real thin type of aluminum with it. So it's, it's fairly sturdy. So you shouldn't have an issue uh, putting your pressure, putting pressure on this, on this patch, all right? Cool. So now, you would use your joint compound and it all depends on your situation, all right? If you can spare a day for this to dry, then use the joint compound, the premix joint compound, okay? If you can spare a day or two for it to dry, all right? If you're in a rush, and you know time restraint you would want to mix you would want to mix some fast set compound okay this is a fast set fast set light 20 this will set up and get ready for painting in like 20 to 40 minutes okay so you can knock out your project pretty fast with the powder, all right? Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm on a time restraint. So I'm gonna show you the joint compound. It's just like, it's just like the uh, spackle, but it's, it's just more, it's more, it's more smoother. It's, uh, this is the same thing, basically. It's just smoother than the, uh, the spackle. So if you put it on, it's just, it's real thin. Like, you would think it would dry faster because of that, but it doesn't. But you can work it better and you can make your patches smoother with this joint compound, to me, all right? But this is why you use it on, on larger holes because you can work it better, all right? Cool. So, that was just for demonstration purposes. You saw how the joint compound looks, the premix, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the powder, powder joint compound because I'm on a time machine, all right? So all you do, Open your bag and it's literally a powder. All right. You do some baking, like flour, just like that. So that's how you're gonna mix it up. And your flour and your egg, just, just beat it up till it gets thick, right? So Put it in your spatula, or well, in your, in your trial, all right? This is not a big patch, so I don't need that much. All right, so I'll put it in here, and then, I add my water, all right? And then you really just work it. Just work it. Like you're making some pancakes. You know, some pre-mixed pancakes. Work it. Now you wanna make sure that your trowel is clean because uh, 
if it's not, you'll when you try to smooth it out on the wall, it'll have like little rocks or the debris that that mm, the debris that's inside your trial will then be transferred from your trial to your wall. So make sure your trial is clean. All right, I got it out. I was fumbling over my tongue. All right, get it, get it. It's mixed. All right, pretty thick there. All right, so that's about how you want it. All right, so you get a little thick. You did. Get a little thick there. Okay, so now uh, you're gonna use the larger spatula, because this is obviously too small. So you use bigger spatula. All right, you get it? Well, let me show you. You just scoop it on up out of there. All right, scoop it on up out of there. Okay. Now, you don't want to be level just like the down. You don't want to be level because this is what will happen if you just go straight down. You basically just took all the mud off. All right? So what you want to do, I'm going to just take this off. What you want to do, you want to float the mud onto the face of your patch. So basically, you're gonna press down, but float the putty knife down. Don't press it down, just float down, all right? And as you get to the corners of the hole, of the patch, then you can press a little bit firmer so it'll be a smooth transition from the sheetrock to the patch so see up here i'm firm and then when i get to the patch i just let the putty knife float the same way hit it from both sides All right, so you use your trial to get your access off, off your spatula. But this is why you want to make sure it's clean because when you do this, you're going to go back for more and you're going to scrape that off. Now, if your spatula, if your trial is dirty, you're going to be scraping old mud into the new mud, old dried mud into the new mud. So make sure your uh, your trial is clean before you start. But anyway, that's the first coat. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna let that dry. All right, we're back. So the spackle has been drying for about an hour, hour and a half. The mud has been drying for about an hour. The spackle is, take your sandpaper, it's completely dry. So you can sand this down. And you can take your hand, just rub across it to see where you need to sand down some more. Uh, whether you need to add mud or take mud away. See right here, I feel just a little hump right here. Right here. Slightly this way. All right, cool. So what you'll do, you'll put a thin coat of spackle on and sand again, and then you'll be good to go, okay? Now here with the uh, mud, it's not completely dry. You can put like a second coat of mud over this if you want to, but it's not dry enough to sand. You can wet sand it, where that, that's when you get like a damp rag 
and you just slowly go over it, wet sanding. But um, right now, let's see, the corners are dry. But the middle isn't dry. I'm trying to go over it pretty soft. Let's see. A little bit coming off there. So basically, once it dries, you'll sand it down, uh, sand it down to till it's smooth. And if you still see some of the mesh tape, um, just put another thin coat of plaster or compound over it, spackle of comp or compound over it, and then uh, sand it down again, and then you'll be done. All right, but. You get the point. You see how you should patch these holes. The small nail holes, use your spackle, dries pretty fast, good to go. For uh, your TV mount holes, you can use your spackle, but remember put your mesh tape over the hole, okay? That'll help, help with the repair, all right? And then for your larger holes, uh, I like using uh, all-purpose joint compound because it's a smoother. You can work it better than the better than the spackle. All right, um, but by all means, use your spackle if you want to use your spackle. It, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, cool. We patched all these holes. If you have holes bigger than this, I'll put the link in the description for the video that I shot on that. But um, other than that, this should cover all the minor holes you have in your house. All right? You should be able to get it done with the spackle, with the joint compound, with the powdered form. Um, yeah, you should be good to go. Yep. All right. Cool. Cool. Like always, I appreciate y'all coming through. Until next time. Building with goose. Yeah.